G'day ladies and gentlemen, this is Voyager the Second here. We are back with another episode of Hyperloop Visions. But this series will be renamed to Vacuum Tube Visions because in fact I was only thinking Hyperloop but actually these are vacuum tubes. No, nowhere are they close to Hyperloops. Um, Hyperloops are different from vacuum tubes. In a way they are. But in a vacuum tube you'll have Superconducting magnetically levitated trains in speeds of excess of 6,000 miles an hour or 10,000 kilometers an hour for metric terms, and they'll be running on, in a vacuum tube. So it takes away the friction of contact and air resistance. So you pretty much al have almost no friction, maybe with the exception of gravity. But in today's episode, we are going to be planning a new vacuum tube which will connect the cities of Perth and Adelaide, which is pretty much the Outback vacuum tube. This project would bring lots of growth into inland Australia, even if they are in the Outback, even if they got a shit environment. I can tell you now, it's got really... We can allow populations to boom in inland Australia and that's a good thing although we may not have good agriculture vertical farming in these cities will do the job so without any further ado let's get this episode started the vacuum tube will start at Perth station so um, and which is really good because this is actually in the downtown of Perth so pretty much everyone just goes to downtown Perth and then or Perth CBD if you're a Aussie and then from Perth you just commute on a vacuum tube all your, on your way to wherever you want to go Adelaide, Sydney um, you just have to go but it is not very convenient for those who live in the outskirts but you just have to get on your commute your way to Perth. Uh, yeah, and so it will it will run along parallel to the Midland Line. It's a transit line in Perth's transit. I, I don't know how what's the company called. Transperth, yeah, Transperth. It will run along Transperth's Midland Line until we get to the suburb of Bassadine, Bassadine and Success Hill Railway Station and then from Success Hill Station the vacuum tube will branch off and begin accelerating to speeds of up to 1500 kilometers an hour or a thousand miles an hour in sh in imperial terms. I'm just being approximate here. I don't have to be very accurate. I know you're going to say 1600 kilometers an hour. Uh, but yeah. It will run along the Darling Scarp. We'll run through the Darling Scarp. Maybe with a bit of tunnel along the way. Until we get to have a new stop at Northam and then we can allow Northam to grow exponentially. Uh, I actually think that a stop at Northam is appropriate but I'm just asking viewers if they think a stop at Northam would be appropriate because in my opinion I think it's appropriate so that you can c commute from Northam to Perth in just around maybe say 10 minutes so it's very quick. And then from Northam <coughs> the vacuum tube will begin to accelerate at a speed of 3,000 miles an hour or 5,000 kilometers an hour and then we can allow the town of Southern Cross to grow into a huge regional city in the outback and then it allows for employment and it's also important to note that Perth is already becoming, is already starting to run out of space. Or maybe it is, but 
it's good to have a bit of population everywhere and there and then we have a stop at Southern Cross. I'm not talking about the Southern Cross in Melbourne, ladies and gentlemen. This is a town in Western Australia. And anyhow, from Southern Cross, the trains will continue at 3,000 miles an hour. I also forgot to mention that this is green. Green means regional high-speed rail and orange is for stops which can both serve regional and super express high-speed vacuum tube trains and also purple that means if you want that if you if it you want a station at Northam or not and then from Southern Cross we'll go all the way to Kalgoorlie it's a pretty big town I don't know the exact population I think it's like 24 maybe 20 to 25 thousand people in Kalgoorlie but we can allow it to grow around 50 times bigger than what it is and then we can allow apartments and vertical farms in this part of Western Australia and then from Kalgoorlie once you reach that curve just before Kalgoorlie super the express trains can accelerate to 6,000 miles an hour however this will only be for a short while because it's very it's very actually because 10,000 kilometers an hour, believe it or not, it's actually very short. Well, no way, yeah. And then we have a stop at Siduna. We can allow this uh, town to grow also. Yep, to around 500,000. Um, the, the towns in Outback Australia, we could have the potential to allow them to grow up to 500,000 people. And then from Seduna, tra trains will continue running at 6,000 miles an hour to the town of to the town ship ship of Port Augusta. Apologies for yep to the township of Port Augusta. We can also allow that to grow, but the maglev trains in the vacuum tube will need to decelerate due to this sharp curve here. So the maglev trains will decelerate to around 2,000 miles an hour or 3,000 kilometers an hour and then it will accelerate again to 3,000 miles an hour just for a short while until we reach Adelaide I told you about Adelaide before and we've also put in a wire link for commuters traveling from Perth who don't want to stop over at Adelaide they can just commute from Perth and head straight to Sydney and so that is your and that is your pro that is your new project ladies and gentlemen and we also have further updates on the existing um, vacuum tube that I planned last week um, we can actually now consider wet and wild to Someone commented saying wet and wild should not be there. Might as well just let the commuters get off at Parramatta and find their own way to wet and wild. Well, the problem is, mate, not everyone's got a car, and wet and wild has n has pretty much a shit public transport access. So you might as well get like a have a stop there at wet and wild, have hotels. Well. I'll, I'll respect your opinion, but yeah, I'm just saying, I also have my own opinions as well. So maybe Wet n Wild could be a good option. It's just that the, that the vacuum, it will only be served, however, the Wet, wet n Wild will only be served by local vacuum tube trains, which will only run at a top speed of 225 miles an hour or 360 kilometers an hour which will run from Perth to Sydney having stops at Parramatta and the Wet n Wild. So yeah, and that's just your update there. So there's there's your new services there. And so anyway, ladies and gentlemen, this was Voyager the Second speaking to you. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up, and favorite the video. I will see you next time. Goodbye for now.